leaders now. Number two, Chris Walker, is leading, but only just. Number one behind him, his teammate, Neil McKenzie, the man who denied Chris Walker so many wins this year, and it could easily be the same here today because McKenzie... In the 1990s, superbike racing was all about 754s and 1,000cc twins. Yamaha's weapon of choice was an inline-4 YZF750, the successor from the FZR OW01. What made the YZF unique was that it had a five-valve per cylinder engine, something that was carried over from the FZR OW01 and later used in the R1 and the R7. Oh, oh here oh. comes Arva. <laughs> Who said that had got any horsepower? Uh, Excuse me, that just passed a Honda. This bike helped launch the careers of fan favourites such as Colin Edwards, the thing about speed is, the faster you go, the easier it is to control the bike. The late Yasutomo Nagi. And Noriyuki Hage. Whoa, there he goes That's then. Hage in second. And he's the most aggressive looking rider yeah. in the world. While in the shadow of RC45s and Ducatis, the YZF won numerous races in the World Superbike Championship. It also won the Suzuka 8 Towers four times. But it was the UK's British Superbike Championship where it really dominated. Number 11 Yamaha is riding shotgun for Neil McKenzie, defending the rear end from Chris Walker, who now trails Hislop. His McKenzie is riding like somebody who doesn't want to win a championship, who wants to win the race. Now, this YZF was used in the World Superbike Championship and formed part of the factory-supported Belgarda team for the 1995 season. Later in its life, it was used in the British Superbike Championship under the guise of Cadbury's Boost Yamaha. Neil McKenzie, returning from his stint in GPs, won the relaunched BSB series in 1996, 97 and 98. Chris Walker, on the inside, from Steve Hislop, out of clearway, the sprint to the flag. Has Walker got enough left to beat McKenzie? Is he going to go right? Is he going to go left? He's in front. Number two. And McKenzie is the new champion. I stood here last year win the championship. I was over the moon and uh, absolutely delighted to win three championships back to back. For me and for Yamaha and for Cadbury's, um, we couldn't have asked for any more. In the end, the YZF 750 was a testament to Yamaha's engineering prowess and the commitment to racing. It may not have been the most powerful bike on track, but it still managed to carve out a place in racing history.